Another big win against Washington and Lee last weekend, and again, your team really showed resilience, had a 14-point lead, seemed to be cruising in the second half, and then a fumbled punt you know, contributed to them knocking that out in less than five minutes, and your team responded with two straight scoring drives as well as a three and out, so really both sides of the ball coming up big. Well, I really thought in the fourth quarter, you're right, it was a gut check. Uh, people always ask me, when did the Guilford game show up? Hey, we made plays in the fourth quarter there, too, and I was excited for our kids because really it was one of those games down the stretch where every phase contributed. Uh, for us to, after that, that fumbled punt to go down and for Tony to kick what could have been a game-winning field goal, that was important. For our defense to get them in a three and out, that was important. And then our offense really to go get down in there, get it on their side of the field and say, we're not going to pass this back to our defense to stop them. We're going to finish the game with the score. It was a good day. It was a good day for Bridgewater. And yeah, I'm excited for our kids. Uh, we talked early in the year. We knew this could be a year that there were, there were bubbles we might hit. But I, one of our goals was is we wanted to be, by the end of the year, playing some of the better football in the ODAC. And over the last two weeks, we have. And we actually played fairly well against Emory and Henry, too. We, we've done some good things here. Now, the key thing is, can we finish it? Uh, let the seniors make a positive statement to end and then certainly carry good momentum in here to the off season. So you're going to Catholic to finish out the regular season. They are 0-6 in the ODAC, but four of those six losses by 11 points or less, a couple much closer than that. Uh, they have a leader in the conference in uh, touchdown catches. I know they had to replace their quarterback this year. They have turned the ball over a fair amount, which is what can we expect from the Cardinals? Well, I think they're playing a young quarterback, and anytime you get into that, you're going to have your ups and downs, but you're right. Uh, Guilford jumped them pretty good when they turned the ball over a bunch in the first half down there, but they've kind of found gotten into those games and they've gotten into the fourth quarter and just couldn't finish the deal over the last couple of weeks. I think it's dangerous in this conference to compare scores. Uh, we're really all about the same. I don't know if there's a great team. I don't know that there's a uh, bad team. And for our purposes, you know, you take the emotion that our kids here la had last week, playing in a senior day, having their last home game. You know, this is going to be a big one for Catholic, too, and we got to anticipate that same emotion. It'll be interesting to see. I, I, I thought Early in the year, you know, I took a team down uh, in a road game that had a little trip to it. Uh, down at the apprentice school was what we call one of those trip games. I, I put a team on the field that wasn't ready to play. Uh, we had a chance to win but couldn't win. Uh, we got the same opportunity to finish the year, and I think it'll be a great measuring stick for us as coaches in our preparation and for our players just in their maturity. Can we go on the road, uh, play solidly? There's no question. Uh, if we don't have an edge, uh, we can become an average team real quick, and I'm hoping we can continue to have that edge down the stretch. So since this is the last week we're doing this, you know, just looking back on the year, despite you know, having to integrate some young players, having to start three different quarterbacks in nine weeks, we could go back now and say with that parity, just turn around the Randolph-Macon game and you'd be tied for first. So the team wasn't far off. So just what do you think about how the season went and where the program is going forward? Well, I think I'm going to get into that analysis. I'd like to wait one week because I think what happens here in week 10 makes a big statement. I mean, to me, there's a uh, we win this game. It gives us a winning record in the conference. Uh, you know, I point to Randolph making a year ago. They were one and six team after seven games. Won three pretty good games down the stretch, and they never gave up the momentum. I'm hoping maybe I can be the same team, but I think. Uh, for our purposes, to me, the focus needs to be on Bridgewater and going up on the road and beating a Catholic team that is plenty capable of beating us. There's no question about that. And my hope is, is we can keep that tight focus and then get into kind of the analysis of, of the season. It's never as good as you want. It's never as bad as you want. But, you know, having a 5-5 five and five team with a winning record in the conference, sending our seniors off with a win, having our underclassmen have momentum going into the offseason, those are all things that have high value and have yet to be defined.